Peace, family. Welcome to Soul Healing, where we discuss spirituality, service, and transformation. My name is Shonda, and I've come to share something with you today. So I've been thinking, right, when you go through like a lot of traumatic experiences, negative experiences, negative interactions with people, Sometimes it kind of makes you want to shut down and disassociate yourself from others. It could even go to the point of you, like have a negative experience after negative experience, like someone lying to you or someone stealing something from you or someone betraying you or someone not being who you thought they were. All of these like disappointments kind of crack the heart. A little bit. You get a crack here, crack here, crack here, crack here, right? You get all these little cracks. All these little broken heart experiences. And then sometimes that kind of makes you feel like there's like this dark cloud following you. Where you're having these negative interactions for whatever reason. It could be because of cultural differences. It could be because of ethnic differences. It could be because of situations and circumstances it could be uh so many different things but the bottom line i think is this once you find that you have like all of this broken heart experiences all these disappointing experiences from other human beings right they've disappointed you they have uh lied on you falsely accused you, uh, attacked you physically, spiritually, um, or emotionally, or they've uh, tarnished your reputation, or they're gossiping about you. Just these different negative experiences that we tend to have with other humans kind of chip away at our belief in humanity, in community, in family, and in friendship. So I found myself isolating myself. And I found that my heart was just slowly and quietly just closing, just closing, closing, closing. And it got to the point where I did not feel my emotions anymore. I did not cry. I had like, no feelings. I was completely numb. Certain things could happen, like stressful situations would happen back to back to back to back. And I was slowly becoming more hard, more masculine, more defensive, like um, more on guard, right? And I, it's like you're carrying around this heaviness all the time. That's what it felt like. I had a heaviness. And going out was like so stressful. I think I was like developing some kind of social anxiety. And little by little, God started pulling me out of that, that way of feeling and thinking and being. Because I knew it wasn't my natural state of it wasn't really a representation of who Shonda really is. But because Shonda had experienced so many negative things, there was like this dark cloud. There was this darkness forming like in my heart, shutting me down little by little. And so if you find yourself in a similar situation, the most difficult thing to do is the thing that you need to do And that is, you need to open that heart back up. Don't isolate yourself completely. Like, if you need breaks away from people, that's okay. Right? Like, for example, someone invited me to come to, I don't know what they would call it in their culture, but to me, in my culture, it's kind of like a housewarming but people don't really bring gifts, right? So there's, you know, one of my neighbors has built on his land 
and is ready to move into where he lives. And so all of his family, even from like six, eight hours away, came to him. And his friends came to him. And some neighbors came to him. And he invited me to come too. Now, I didn't really know what to expect, right? A part of me was like, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> but he just kept encouraging me to come out. And I was like, okay, let me get my kids together. And let's go down the street to this event, right? And I think it's really important to do that when you feel comfortable to come out again, to interact again, despite the negative experiences that you already had in the past, right? There's still opportunities to have positive experiences as well. If you don't shut down your heart completely, there's still possibilities of relationships. There's still possibilities of building community. There's still possibilities of creating and connecting family if you don't shut down. So what do you think about that? Let me know.